Hello and welcome to tonight. My name is James McDonald alongside my meatball loving co-host AJ Tenari. We have a great show for you guys so make sure to stick around. Live from Newman University, it's tonight with James McDonald. Rules are simple. You make each other laugh. If that person's laugh, you take the sauce. If you don't laugh, that person takes the sauce. The sauces get hotter as you progress. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. James, you start. All right, AJ, since we're, you know, in a Franciscan university, mm -hmm. we have, this is almost like the Last Supper, so I figured, should we all say like a little prayer beforehand? Of course. All right. Do you want to hold, hold my hand? Yeah, let's do it. Des, no, I'm not in this. Des, come on. Come on, Des. Come on. You're a bad Christian. All right. Bless us, O Lord, and these are gifts which we're about to receive. For Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Papa bless. Papa I forgot to mention, you have 15 seconds to make each other laugh. Oh, 15 seconds. So how All long right. has that been? We're Just enough up. for that prayer. We're starting oh, up. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Uh, AJ, do you want to go first? I mean, he did say James go first. Oh, he did say me yeah. go first. All right. I got some uh, got some material here. You know? Oh. More prepared than I am. Before I wanted to... Do the Tonight Show. I always wanted to be a comedian, so this is uh, this is my time. It's good Let's practice. See if these jokes will work. Practice your type five. Huh? Practice your type five. <laughs> exactly. Hey. <laughs> All right, Des, are you starting the clock here? Clock starts in three, two, one. AJ, uh, you remember that joke I told you uh, the other day about my spine? Yes. Oh, you do? Yeah. It was uh, it's about a week back. <laughs> week back. I get it. You get it? Cause mm -hmm. week back. I, I get it. You get that one. Like, right. like your back is, is not strong. Oh, that was, a, right. was not a laugh, James. All right, looks first like uh, up. starting with our first sauce, the pickle sauce. All right, so I'm uh, gonna take this uh, little chicken tendy here. We're, we're doing the dip. You can do the dip, or you prefer. can take it. All right. Oh god! Oh oh! Take a taste. It's okay. <clears throat> doing alright, James. Doing good. Doing all good. Right. One down. All right. Ready? I'm ready. Yep. Time starts now. James, I know that was a little rough for you. Just let me know after we're done if you need me to like burp you on your thing. Rock you to sleep, I gotcha. Cause uh, I'm actually your new dad. I've been talking to your mom and things are getting pretty serious. How serious? Hello, son. What's up, dad? Time's up. All right. That's a swig for me. Looking like a champ, buddy. Ready? Three, two, yeah. one. Uh, what did the uh, what did the ocean say to the uh, to the sand? That. Nothing. They just they waved. That's a sauce for you, my friend. That's a sauce for me. All right. So what is it? One to two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. You gotta say your jokes both stop. Yeah, we're not doing great. Yeah, we're not. We're not doing great. Who gave us a show? James the Barbarian. You just fell over the table, man. Oh. You have awful manners. Wow. Oh. Okay. Hey, James. Right. Ready? Time yep. starts. Hey, James. Remember when that snapping turtle bit you? I want to do it again in real life. All right, that's sauce for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. James, you're up. All right. Go ahead. So you got an electric light orchestra there? Mm -hmm. Don't let me down. You're singing it wrong. Ooh. Nah. No, it's got great crack. <clears throat> oh, no. I got nothing. Maybe you guys just suck. I think that's what it is, actually. Yeah. yeah. We're just not funny. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Woo! I think this is a good one. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah, I guess. All right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. To James. I hear you like Wiz Khalifa. When you whiz, do you get a sense of Khalifa? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Did you get that from Maragonja? I did. Nice. I'm, nice. I'm stealing bits at this point. Nice, nice. I'm out of material. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No reaction. Ready? Ready? Let's turn this <clears throat> for, uh... Ready? Yeah, go ahead. It's in honor of Nick Coppola. Oh, nice. Mm. 
You're way over. <laughs> That's over. Alright. <coughs> We're drawing near. Yeah. Alright. Well, mm. Dad, you want to go down? No. I really no. appreciate the effort you put into this, man. Thank you. Mm. Cheers, buddy. Not bad at all. You're on the last one. Yeah. Ready? Mm. Go ahead. <clears throat> James, remember when I, we had me on Mac on the mic? Yeah. That was the worst experience I ever had. I'll never make it in radio. You were a terrible friend and a terrible host, and I hate working with you every day of my life. Thanks, buddy. You got five seconds. You got it. I'll be taking the spoonful of hot sauce now. Let me know how it tastes. <laughs> Well, I don't know how we got this show. Uh, after that bit, I guess you saw that we aren't as funny as we are. So yeah. to make matters worse, AJ and I will be taking one last spoonful of the hottest hot sauce that we have. I think we said, uh, what is this, 2 million Scoville? 2 million Scoville, yes. Uh, we, oh, sorry. We will ask each other embarrassing questions, and if we refuse to answer, we will have to take that last spoonful of sauce. AJ? Yes, James. You ready, buddy? Of course. Live audience, are we ready? Woo! Yeah. They love to watch us suffer. Even our producer likes to watch us yeah, suffer here. He's yeah. smiling. He's smiling from ear to ear. He suffered enough. <laughs> the actual bit. Um, all right. So, do you want to go first, AJ? Or do you want me to go first? James, you're the host. Oh man, here we go. All right. Uh, audience, pick a number one through nine. Ooh. Eight, 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 three, eight, eight, I heard eight, a lot. Eight, eight, all right. We'll eight, eight, see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone's in the hot seat right now. Exactly. <laughs> it's hot sauce, get it? Uh, AJ. Yeah. Yes. We've had a lot of great guests on the show so far. We had uh, Father Cola. We had Dr. Glass. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Linda, this episode. The so students. The, students. the students on Studio Day. Thank you, Des. Um, this uh, question's really simple. I just mm -hmm. want you to rate each guest we've had from most to least enjoyable. Okay. Ooh. Most to least enjoyable. Let's Can we get like an ooh? ooh. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I just like to say, no hard feelings to one of our guests, but I gotta be honest here. I don't want to eat this. So I'd say from most enjoyable, Father Cola, Sister Linda. Well, how do we do this? Because where is this taking place? Is it should it be revealed that Sister Linda was? We already did that, or what? Are, what? Are, what? Are that right. part out? Yeah. yeah I Father Cola, Sister Linda, Dr. Glass, Dr. Glass again, <laughs> <laughs> and the students. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. You, uh, you survived the hot sauce. I did. Uh, let me get my questions out on my phone. Uh, audience, number from one to like six, seven. Four. There's a lot of four. A lot of four. They want four. James, they were shoplifted. Never shoplifted, AJ. Never have, cool. never will. Don't plan on it. Was that, that was your question? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you're in for a treat then. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, according to a study at yes. the University of Washington, a survey, <laughs> yeah, I can't, as soon as Des told me I could interrogate AJ, I came prepared here. According to a study at the University of Washington, a survey showed that 75% of people tell at least two lies per day. Can we get some, ooh, ooh, ooh. a little louder. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Uh, what was the last lie that you told me? Last lie that I told you, that you were the funniest person I've ever known. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. All right, audience. Same question. One to, I don't know, eight this time. Seven. Seven. James. For... This counts for like as, even if it was like a small amount of time. Have you ever stalked someone on Instagram? <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, stalk somebody on Instagram. I don't think I've ever stalked like a uh, like a person that I know. More of like a celebrity. Okay. Um, I've checked out Jennifer Aniston's pictures a couple oh. times. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you, brother. Down me up, brother. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I'm not ashamed of that either. I mean, you know. All right. Fellas, am I right? <laughs> Boys, am I right? Boys? Yeah. yeah. Des? No. No? All right. That's fair enough. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, same game, one to nine. Three. Three. Yeah, three. 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 I'm hearing a lot of threes here. Um, what's the last text message that you sent today? I don't think I didn't text anyone today, but the last one Ooh. I texted last night was "Suck, gang, I'm AJ." <laughs> is there any context to that? Or? Uh, yeah, Fatterday is getting a group chat together for a band for a gig that we're doing in, in June, and he introduced all of us to uh, introduce introduce ourselves to each other. You know? Gotcha. So we, that we was, don't all know each other. So that question was basically a promo. Essentially, all right, yeah. that's fair enough. That's fair enough. If you want the other one, uh, it was just sick. Sick. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. A very simple man, James. I see that. I see that. All right. Uh, one, two, eight. Two. Two. James, do you still pick your nose? Uh, a long time ago. <laughs> Why is everybody going? Do you nose? still pick your nose? No. Currently. No. Okay. But I did. You never did. just get in there, get get something out that feels a little uncomfortable. I mean, I you know use a little tissue to get it out. Okay. Got a little boogie. Do a little boogie. <laughs> that was going to be one of our jokes we were going to use for the hot sauce bit, so I had to, I had to get that out. All right. Fair All right. Enough. Fair enough. Good call back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. This is a good one. Uh, flatulence is a natural body function that we all experience. Yes. Everybody's done it, right? Uh -huh. Audience, you can relate, right? That was the most unenthusiastic <laughs> cheer I've heard, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> ooh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, tell me about a time that you got caught farting. Hmm. I was, I want to say, 12 or 13. I was at a Chinese restaurant with my parents, my friend, her brother, and her mom. And I, we were just like hanging out. And I, I was trying really hard to hold it in, but it just, had, it just flew out. And it went dead silent. They all just like looked at me. And mm. I was like, I felt very ashamed. Mm. But my friend's, my friend's brother was like, he like lightened the situation, which was nice. Sure. Yeah. All right. Applause for that. Come on. Yeah. I applaud you. Mike McCross, we still can't get you on the show. Come on, keep going. <laughs> James, have you ever cheated on a college exam? <laughs> That's actually funny. That was actually going to be one of mine. Um, I can neither confirm or deny that, AJ. So does that mean it's a hot sauce? Audience? <laughs> Good game, James. You no, know, I should have asked that one earlier. Would that, uh, seriously, honestly, would that have made you crack? Um, well, we are on a college show, so it's yeah, hard to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, AJ, audience, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. And we'll, <laughs> and we'll see you in entertainment. This is higher than Jennifer Aniston, guys. That was... <laughs> um, well, with that, uh, AJ, good job, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's head on over to tonight's entertainment. Oh! For tonight's entertainment, we have... Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott's son is no longer named Wolf. The couple says it didn't feel like it was him, which is crazy because the baby boy and O.J. Simpson have something in common. It wasn't them. Amanda Bynes' conservatorship has finally been terminated after nine years. Did you know that Bynes and Barbie were pretty similar at one point? They were both blonde, plastic, and brainless. <laughs> Maury has confirmed that the show will be ending after 31 seasons and that this season will be the last. But my favorite Mari memory was when a, priest on the, when a priest was on the show, and it turns out he was a father. <laughs> and finally, Anya Taylor-Joy revealed the dating advice that Sarah Jessica Parker has told her. Turns out all you have to do is look like a horse and say nay. <laughs> and that's what I got for you on tonight's entertainment. Well, thank you, AJ, for that report. Our guest for tonight is a member of the Sisters of St. Francis, an award-winning Spanish educator with a specialty in Spanish Golden Age literature. She has great connections with her students on LinkedIn and with God. Please welcome Sister Linda Sarriego to the Woo! show. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Sister Linda, how are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing fabulous. Great. It's, it's so great to have you on the show. Thanks. Um, everybody that I know, and I think AJ can, can speak on this too, anybody who's had you as a student always says that you are an amazing, amazing professor. Oh, well, thank you. So uh, I train them well. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to see you. Thank you. Um, what's, what's new? How's everything going? Good. I'm good. Uh, today, I just went from one thing to the next, had some meetings online, I had broke some connections online that I couldn't get through. So I'm happy that you guys are in charge of all the technology here, and I'm just here to yeah. chat. And you got one new connection here, The Tonight Show with James McDonald. That's right. There That's you right. go. Two it's more wonderful. two more connections on LinkedIn, right? <laughs> That's right. There you go. Right. <laughs> so um, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Where did you grow up? Do you do you come from a big family? No. I um thank you very much for asking. No. Uh, I have a big family if you consider extended family. I have one brother, he's a priest, and he's a Franciscan, and he's the chaplain of the Sissy House, but lives in Wilmington. And it's him and I. We're the, we're the two siblings in the family. We grew up in Northeast Philly in Tacconi. Yay, Tacconi. And uh, we go back there every weekend to help out in the parish. I play the organ. Really? He, he celebrates Whoa. mass. Yeah. Uh-huh. Keyboard. They have an organ, but, you know. And, um, it's funny you mention that because I'm a drummer, so if you ever want to have like a little jam sesh. Oh, listen, we have a Spanish community there. Oh. We could use it. Yeah, great. Nice connection. If you need exactly. a kazoo, too, I can play we the have, kazoo. We, uh, we, we I take like requests. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when we're out of canter, I'll, I'll okay, try yeah, it. Yeah, I'll yeah. get a kazoo. Absolutely. <laughs> well, James in his kazoo. It sounds like a good marquee for the church, you know. And um, I went to school there, went to St. Hubert's, graduated St. Hubert's, and entered the convent right after that. And here I am. But I've lived all over. I've lived in Puerto Rico. I worked in Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Well, being, being from Philadelphia, mm -hmm. I have to ask you, like, what's some of your favorite spots in the city? Do you have a favorite, uh, favorite cheesesteak place, <clears throat> favorite place to, to go out? Or Well, you got to know that being in, from the greater Northeast, we never got to Center City. In mm. fact, when I entered the convent, we were supposed to give the, we had uh, women who entered from the West, you know, and uh, we were supposed to show them around Philly. To be honest with you, I didn't even know how to get to Philly. I mean, I mean, I knew how to drive there, but I didn't know how to get there by, um, you know, by the train and by the L. So I don't know. So the people in the Northeast kind of stayed in the Northeast. You yeah. Know? And we hung out together up there. But um, cheesesteaks, I don't know. I'm more pizza than cheesesteaks. Okay. Not big on, All right. Yeah, I'm not big on cheesesteaks. What steaks. kind of pizza do you like? Oh, well, any kind. Any, any kind? kind. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm in the same boat yeah, as you. Yeah, any kind. And I like pizza calzones. Ooh. I like the thick ones. Stromboli. I like the thick, stromboli, mm -hmm. right? Our relatives own the bakery, and Esposito's Bakery. And so they made, like, the thick pizza, you know, the De Palma Bakery and all that. Mm -hmm. They had, So we, we, just, we were just pizza lovers, you know, all the time. No, no preference on the crust? Thick, thin no. crust? No, uh-uh. And then it... Deep dish. Deep, well, deep dish, that was, that's more American-Italian, you know, but, mm. the, but the regular one. And then if it was left over, because our uncle worked at the bakery, Uncle Charlie, mm. typical good name, right? And uh, he would bring us a lot of it and a lot of bread. So when we had pizza left over, I mean, you ate it for breakfast, you ate it for any time, cold, hot, whatever. So it's cool, yeah. And so we went there, and we would always go up to Moe's Diner when, for the high school gang. I came from a girls' high school. St. Hubert's is all girls. Mm. Father Judge was the boys' high school. Right, so, right. So we would go to their dances, and we would meet them at different places. We had Tacconi Park across the street, but you didn't go to the park. It was getting a little rough there, you know. Mm. Mm. So, but we would go up to Moe's. We'd go up to the country club diners. So diners and places like that. Concord mm. roller skating rink and stuff like that. So we, we hung out there. Sounds like you had a, a great childhood. I did. <laughs> I did. I had a wonderful time. I loved it. We were real tight. Yeah. <laughs> you probably never wanted it to end, right? <laughs> Yeah, and I still see the people when I go back up there to the parish exactly. because it's a real small It all area. comes full circle, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Um, well, something else that comes full circle is, uh, you know, as you mentioned, you went to Puerto Rico and you're a, a, a Spanish speaker. So I wanted to ask you this, and this has been on my mind for a while. When somebody tells you or um, when somebody asks you if you're a Spanish speaker, mm -hmm. what's the first thing you say to kind of impress them, make them know that, you know, you really uh, you speak Spanish really well? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know. I'll tell you mine. It's uh, Buenos Dias. Oh, you know, that, that's like, always whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. that, that. He knows what he's talking about, that guy. <laughs> you, you probably excelled in Spanish, right? That was like the advanced level, right? Exa yeah, I, I actually I took a little bit of Spanish at Newman, so I'm a little... There uh, you go. A little all right. Bit, uh, right. You know, mm -hmm. a CSE. 
I see it's, it's good way of pronouncing it. Very, very good. <laughs> I usually wear a badge that says Ola. So oh, usually, do you? Yeah, I didn't oh, have okay. it today. I didn't know I would need to. I thought you knew me without my badge. Ex right? Yes, yes. So, um, but usually Ola. You know, if I say, oh, see, Ola. Or I tell them my name. Mm, okay, okay. That's about it. Yeah. Good one. And uh, you've been to Puerto Rico. I worked there, yes. What has, uh, what has that experience been like for you? Well, when I went down there, I didn't really speak Spanish that well because, as I said, I grew up in an Italian neighborhood. Yeah. My father was Spanish, but we didn't speak Spanish at home. We, we spoke Italian and English. We spoke Spanish. My parents spoke Spanish when they didn't want my brother and I to understand. And when we would go to our, our um, grandparents' place, and I know Des and the others have heard this from, uh, from school, from the classes, we were not permitted to speak English because oh, yeah. it was lacking respect for them, you know, because they didn't speak English, mm -hmm. you know, or the English that they spoke, you didn't want to repeat, you know. So anyway, um, so we learned words and then I took it in high school. But when I went to Puerto Rico, it was like, oh, my God, it was just so different. You know, I was, I was in the mountains. The first time I drove the car, there was never any straight roads. My car didn't have brakes. No brakes. No, they, they didn't tell me that the car was, needed some adjustment. <laughs> so yeah, I'm driving. I almost got hit by a cow. I mean, it was really hit more, by a cow. Yeah, the cows were going on the side. I mean, yeah, I'm from Philly, you know, so it was really quite an adjustment. But I loved the island. I loved it. But I thought I would die there only because I never. There were no stop signs and mm -hmm. going up to areas. There were no like you didn't say when I was down there. You didn't say you go to such and such a street because we were in a rural area. They go, oh, go up to the first turkey farm and turn right. I didn't know a turkey from a chicken. And I mean, yeah. So I really learned a lot, you know. Um, but the first few weeks were very interesting. Very interesting. I, I can relate to you, sister. I mean, <laughs> it took me uh, two weeks to finally know how to get to school, you know. So, um, <laughs> and you're still finding out. And I'm still finding my way. I'm like, where's Bachman? Oh, oh right across the street. Got it, got it. Right, right, right. Uh, obviously, I know where your office is because uh, we saw you. That's right. We saw you last night. That's right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We weren't too, too loud there. No. I left very quickly, but it wasn't because of you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Green Guys. Thank you, thank you. Since we're on air, I'll yeah. say it wasn't because of you. We'll save that, yeah, we'll yeah. save that problem. What would you say are some of your, your favorite um, elements of, of uh, this uh, Spanish heritage and the Spanish culture? Um, yeah, that's interesting. Well, I don't speak like a Spaniard. I speak like a Caribbean, so that's always interesting. Uh, I, think I'm, I think I'm more... I don't know if I'm more Spanish than Italian. I don't know. I just I don't know anymore. I'm just a, a hybrid. But what I like about it is the family. You know, we're really tight with the family and just the expressiveness. Like I can't talk without moving around or my hands. And I mean, I think if you held my hands, I probably couldn't talk. You know? <laughs> um, so I think just that about it, and just the fact, like all the stories, you know, that we we did, and uh, we continue in our, our own family. And because I, my brother and I, especially, we lived with our grandparents, and we used to visit the Spanish grandparents a lot. We know a lot of the stories of our family, and my father's family is very colorful. You know, they they went back. They were my father was born in West Virginia, mm. so I mean, we even had a southern type of thing to it. You know, so um, yeah, so that part of it is just um, something that always stays with you. The foods, of course, yes, you know, and then my grand my Spanish grandparents lived with my parents before I was born, and my mother spoke only Italian because she was born in Italy. Mm. I mean, she spoke English, but she didn't speak Spanish. My grandmother didn't speak English or Italian, so the two of them, somehow they communicated. So, <laughs> so yeah, so those kind of things. It's just family. Family is, is really important. How about, how about music? Do you like the Spanish music? Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. And the Spanish music, my, my, uh, my, my father was a twin, and my uncle was a great musician. He, my dad was a great entertainer. He loved people. But dad could not really play an instrument or, or dance, but my uncles did. And they all went to the Spanish club. And they used to tell me the stories and do all the Spanish dances, not the Caribbean, not salsa and all that, but the old traditional Spanish ones. So. Mm. But even now, I mean, that's why I love, um, you know, I love the language and the Latino cultures because they're so alive and there's so many of them. And I just think it's a wonderful thing that, that when we have students who have the Latino background to keep in touch with it because if not you lose a part of yourself mm. you yeah know? yeah and who wants to just be like there's no neutrality mm. when it comes to culture mm -hmm. culture is who you are yeah. it really is yeah. it really is yeah so that I, I like the Spanish music too uh, I know 
AJ loves this song, the the Macarena. Oh yeah, right. And James, who could forget Despacito featuring uh, Daddy Yankee? Yes, Daddy. Uh, I heard, uh, I heard uh, Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Despacito, yeah, and Luis Fonsi. Yes. What do you think about uh, Daddy Yankee's retirement? He's he's retiring. Is he really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. I like Daddy I'm, Yankee. I didn't mean to break the news. We probably should have done that. This is very sad. Very I know. Sad. I'm sorry. Soften the blow somehow. <laughs> I like Daddy Yankee. You know, I mean. He's retired. He's allowed to retire. You know, yeah. his songs will still continue. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the students get a little freaked out by the fact that I know some of the the, <laughs> the rappers or some of the. I, I like music. You know. Mm. You listen to you listen to rap music. Yeah, I listen to a lot of different music. Uh huh. Do you like the song uh, "It Takes Two? Uh, who told you? That? <laughs> <laughs> who told you that? Little somebody in my ear. <laughs> that was to teach a lesson. Uh. But I do like that. Yeah, that's yeah. a good song. Very yeah. good. Very and it, good. It taught the lesson. That's right. <laughs> that's now, all that matters, right? I know. Well, it came from a movie. I like movies too. So what, that's what why. kind of movies do you like? Well, the reason why I know that song is because it's an old movie, The Proposal with uh, Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Bullock. Love Sandra One Bullock. One of my favorites. She's great. Yeah. She's great. So, um, yeah, so that's why I know that. But, you know, in the, in the class, if there's any way I can do something in a, with music, mm -hmm. I try to. Mm. And sometimes I think the students learn it just to shut me up, but that's okay. <laughs> I, isn't that like a, a scientific thing? I think people learn better when there's, there's music, right? A good music, but not when I do it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, maybe they just remember it. Who knows? How, how do you it? think I learn my times tables, right? Ah, there you go. There <laughs> you Alphabet go. song? Uh, uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. What's some of your favorite music, AJ? Uh, well, you know me, I got love my 70s and 80s, classic rock, progressive rock, art rock, glam rock, all the rocks out there. Do you like rock? <laughs> One could say. <laughs> Just a little bit. So, yeah. Just as uh, much. Yeah, I like pretty much everything, though. Now, I like, even in, like in the cars where I get to really listen to music, because at the house where I live, I don't. I don't really put, by the time I get home, I don't put How many people do you live with, sister? Just one. Oh, one, just one? There's two of us. Yeah, one of the other sisters. We live across the street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys are neighbors to us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Howdy, neighbor. Where are you? I'm a, I'm a commuter. I live in Westchester. Uh, so he's the neighbor. Who am I neighbor with? <laughs> uh, the other students. Our yeah. resident students. We got, yeah. we got a couple resident yeah. students out there in the audience. Yes. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm neighbor with Bonnie Building, Kiara Building, and the, uh, the couple of the houses next door. But, um, but in the cars where I listen to it. So I listen to uh, MGK, of course. Mm, yeah. And then he's when amazing. I get he's, tired. What's one of your favorite MGK songs, sister? <laughs> Oh, God. I, well, I like the Beatles. Oh, Beatles, okay. And I like, have our MGKs confused a little bit. Like, uh, the station WMGK is what she's talking about. Yes. Not Machine Gun Kelly. No, oh. no, no, no. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, no, all right. No, no, Because no, Emo Girl is an amazing, <laughs> yeah, amazing no, no. song. You're I believe you Emo Chico. You'll have to listen to that on the car on the way back. Oh, my gosh. That's all I need. <laughs> They'll whip me out of here fast with that one. No, WMGK. Oh, WMGK. Yeah. Okay. And then The Breeze now became a Latino, uh, Latino reggae uh, station. Okay. So I listen to that. So I go back and forth. You okay. Know. All right. It on what I, if I have to think about something, then I put on that kind of music. You know. You have good. You have to send me my. You have to send me your playlist. You have great. <laughs> oh yeah. You have great taste. Yeah, I do. I've, <laughs> well, I don't know if it's great, but I have a variety of tastes. <laughs> exactly. <sure>. Exactly. <laughs> and I also heard you like to. You like to dance as well. Oh yes. I love to dance. You do. Yes. Oh my. God. What do you, What do you enjoy dancing? Is there a like a type of dance you enjoy doing no. the most? I like I just like dance. Like dance. Yeah, okay. I like fast dance. Okay. I, mean, I don't like slow dancing. That's not my thing. Me and AJ sometimes will will square dance after the. Mm. No, I don't square dance. You don't square dance. <laughs> we used to have to do that in high school. Believe really? it or not. I think gym. we did. I think oh, we did yeah. as did well. Did you? Yeah. Well, I didn't mind that because I was lousy with in sports, and the students know this. I love sports, mm -hmm. but I can't play. Mm -hmm. I mean, forget it. You know, I cried when I used to have to play softball. You know, but I could dance. So even doing square dance, but. I, not my thing. No. no, that's okay. That's all right. Do you, do you enjoy dancing, AJ? Any? Oh, uh, I can't dance, but I like it. Of course, <laughs> LA, obviously. I'm the most graceful person out there. <laughs> Can we see something, AJ? Can we uh, see? Oh no. All right, all right. Okay. That was honest. I figured. I just figured I'd ask. Um, one more question for you. Yes. How long have you uh, been a, a professor? How long have you been teaching Spanish? Oh wow, here. How about here and then in in general? Okay. Well, I started out as a first grade teacher. Wow. Loved it. I was in inner city Philadelphia for a while. So I taught first grade. Then I taught middle school Spanish because I was going back for Spanish. Then I was in administration for a number of years. Okay. So I was out of teaching. Mm -hmm. And then I taught at the seminary, St. Charles Seminary, for a year or two. 
and then I came back here. So I've been here now 12 years full time. So I've been around. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Give it up. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> What's some of your uh, your pet peeves as a professor? Is there anything that just just drives you crazy? Oh yeah. Well, I love the students, first of all. I gotta put that out there, even though they drive me crazy sometimes. <laughs> Des especially. Oh, Des. I love Des. <laughs> you know that. But um, I don't like when they don't do what you ask them to do. Mm. You know? I don't like to be yesed. Like, tell me you're not gonna do it, and then I know what to work with. But I, didn't, I just don't like that. I don't like to be fooled around, mm -hmm. you know? And that drives me crazy. The students know. They've heard this because I'm pretty consistent in nagging. They have a long fuse, but you don't want to burn it. <laughs> no. Because the Spanish part of me then comes out. Mm, uh -oh, <laughs> very uh -oh. much. Yeah. And then the smile goes, and I get very quiet. If I get very quiet, it's not good. Uh -oh. It's not pretty, you know. So, but I don't like to do that that much. But that's not the only thing. That's good. Know? So, other than that, I like it. Spanish is fun. Learning's fun. It you is. Know? It does. If not, I wouldn't be here. Exactly. Yeah. I always like to think of it as a game. And speaking uh, of a game, oh, here we go. We have a uh, we have a game right here out of the uh, Pura Vida. Am I pronouncing that right? Si, pura Vida, right? Pura Pura Vida. Pu, pura Vida. Pura, pura Vida. You got it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Third, third time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm learning here. I'm learning here. Well, the name of the game is called Impersonation Nation. We will pull a name out of the. Pura Vida, Mug. And you, did I get that right? <laughs> yes, you okay. did. Okay. And we must try to impersonate that person to the best of our ability. Oh the others God. must try to guess who we are impersonating, and we're going to play two rounds of this. Are, okay. you, are you good at impersonations? I'll find out. I guess we'll find <laughs> out. I guess, this, can't, I guess yeah. this bit can't be any worse than our, our hot sauce bit that we oh. did. That'll uh, air on this episode. That was oh very my. painful in more ways than one. <laughs> we, uh, that's kind of a, a soft spot. We'll save that for the end. Um, but uh, sister, since you were the guest, uh, would you. you like to uh, pull out of the mug first? I guess I don't have an option, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can pass it over to AJ if you want. If you... Okay, now what do I do? Read it? Uh, uh, read, read, read it to yourself and then try to impersonate that yeah. person for us. We'll... Oh, our eyes. We'll look I away. can't believe it. I can't even do this one. It even looks like it. You want to pull? You want to pull another one? Yeah, I can't right. do her. All right, Go for it. Let's try one more. I'll tell you who that was afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> but this would probably get. The, what the, I don't know who that is. I don't know who this is. Another one from the cup. <laughs> let's see. Let's try. Try one more. Try one more. Sorry about that. My repertoire is somewhat limited. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not an MGK impersonation. <laughs> No, that was not. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting them all. If I keep going all the time, I'll go. It's the same person again. Probably <laughs> <laughs> screen test this first. <laughs> one more time. I think this they, is the one. Oh, jeez. All right. You know this person, right? Yeah, I knew the first one too. I just didn't think I could. At least <laughs> this one had the better hairstyle. Um, take, take a minute if you need. No? Oh, yeah, because I haven't seen this one in a while. Um, I don't know. Um, do I talk yeah. or is it mimed? Whatever, you, whatever you'd like to do. Um, just, I haven't seen it. Well, today, here we are in this show, and, and here I am today, and then welcome to our James? show. James? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want you to all uh, call in and... Uh, since I don't remember what the show is all about, but anyway, I want to talk to you. And today, I'm um, taking over this. Um, want you to? Um, well, I don't know about that. Uh, David Letterman? No. Howard Stern? No. Are we warm? Are we close? No, I don't think you're warm. At all. <laughs> <laughs> right, right type of uh, person, but maybe not. So, um, well, anyway. Um, Johnny Carson? No. Wrong gender. Here we go. Uh, not even our producer knows. No, he's still. No. He's, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of anything to say. Um, my show was on for a while, but you know, uh, I don't know if it's on anymore. We, I even hosted. Do you remember when I hosted the Academy Awards? Do you remember when I was on that year for it? it was Wanda way Sykes. before. It. No. Kathy Griffin. No. <laughs> way before. But my, my wife didn't want me to, to uh, be on it anymore. But anyway. Ellen DeGeneres. You got it. You got yep. it. Hey, Jay, I'll give you a virtual. Thanks, man. Give you a virtual high five. Um, 
<laughs> Do I pass it? A socially distance high five. Yes, 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 please. Sir. All right. I don't know if I can do that one. That that's against Rise's values. <laughs> uh, all right, this will be very interesting. Hmm. Y'all ever hear of a super base? What do you say you have, James? I don't know what else to do for this one. You want to grab one more? Grab one more. Here we go. If I get that one, we're going to really be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You didn't have to have a grade. Oh, perfect. This one's Here we go. easy. So, Sister Linda, it's an honor and a pleasure to have you on the show. And James, you're the best host that I've ever hosted a show with. And I'm feeling, I had this pocket watch once when I was a kid. My father, he gave it to me after he hit it in the war. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking. You know, I was in the movie Nine Lives with Kevin Spacey. Uh, I played the, the evil guru that turned into a cat. Nine lives with Kevin Spacey. Yeah, I was in Pulp Fiction and the. Uh, oh, Sam Sam L. Jackson. No. Oh. <laughs> I was I, real confident. Uh, I, I got a fever, <laughs> and the only prescription is more cowbell. Uh, Travolta. No. Close. Um, oh my God. Uh, oh. <laughs> It's like a Travolta. It is very close yeah. to Travolta. It's very like, close to Travolta. <laughs> yeah. Very. <laughs> Um, so your other jokes couldn't get me to yeah. crack, but you're, that would make me to crack. All right, I see. Are, are we giving up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Christopher Walken. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. It was good. It was a good impression. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Your turn. Your well, turn. here we go. Here we go. I don't even know who that guy is. See um, that? Might be the same one you got. Uh huh. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. This might be good. Hey, yo, Adrian! What's his name? <laughs> Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone. Stallone. That's it. Sylvester right. Stallone, yes! <laughs> there we go, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do one round. more speed round. Uh -huh. Who wants to go? Who's brave Sister enough? Linda, do okay, I can do this. Sister yeah. Linda? Yeah, if I get that same one again, I'm going <laughs> to Let's see if you can redeem yourself it. here. Hmm. We got it before. Let's see. Um, well, I can't <laughs> sing. I'm not going to sing here, but uh, I can't dance either. Okay. Um, do they have glove? I need a glove. Not on it now. Uh, Is it O.J. Simpson? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I could dance, but I couldn't. Um, I can't think of even of a song. Um, it's Nicki Minaj. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, let me think. Uh, I'm looking at the man oh. in the mirror. Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. You got yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking of a song. Okay. You're a, you're a pro. This could be this could be a um, <laughs> second career. Side job. Yeah, yes, exactly. In case they boot me from the <laughs> exactly. teaching profession. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> I was the governor of California. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. yeah. You get the easy ones. You're uh, giving him all the easy ones. I guess it's just the luck of the draw, I guess. There you go. All thank right. You, thank you. I guess one more here. Here you go. Wonder with a. I don't even know what that one is either. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I was in Twilight with Robert Pattinson. Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart. There you go. That was all I'm talking. All right. All right. Spot on, James. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here all night. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's all the time we have for tonight. Uh, if you'd like to be a part of our studio audience for a future taping, please email New Media. That's N E U. M-E-D-I-A at Newman.edu. Thank you so much to Sister Linda for Thank coming you. on the Thanks show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Of course. Woo! Woo! If I can do it, anybody else can. Yes. So exactly. come on on. an amazing sport. We, we appreciate Thank you, you so Thanks much. For so me. Thank you for coming I enjoyed on. it. Thanks. Uh, so sorry to Mike McCross and Elizabeth Cavalier for not getting them on the show. <laughs> we ran out of time, but we have a great future episode <laughs> in the works for you. Until then, have a great night. Be well and be safe. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.